transition. You want to find out how to do it. You love it. You see it everywhere. That's why you're here. And you're going to find out. Just stay tuned. Let's not waste any time. I have our clip here. You know, our nice little kill. Nice little op kill right here on CS2, as you can see. Now, by the way, I'm using CS2 as a clip. You can use Valorant. You can apply this to any game that you want. It doesn't matter. When we have our kill here, what you want to do is right before the kill actually commences, you want to cut that out. You'll see why in a second. And from right here, every time I'm around here, right click and add a frame hold. This is going to freeze the frame here. What we'll do is drag it out, make it a little bit longer. All right, so once you have this clip here, this thing is frozen in space and time right now. So what you want to do is after that, kind of want to get rid of this dead space if you're if it's not a quit scope and if you're just sitting there holding the gun like a Jimmy Jack. Hat. But right click and click on Ripple Delete. It'll delete everything and put everything back in place. Perfect. So now we have a setup for a very nice scope transition that's about to be absolutely lethal. Now what you want to do is go to the effect controls with this clip highlighted, the one that has the frame hold, the suspended and animation one and you want to click on this little create ellipses mask when this pops up it's going to be cropped no worries press and hold shift click on this top one drag it up because it makes it a perfect circle and line it up perfectly so that it covers just the scope and the scope itself nice and clean we don't want any ui elements whatsoever dirty dirty ui elements once this is how it is it's perfect now you want to go right click this clip nest nest the sequence and then make sure this is highlighted go over to your effect panel Type in transform. Click this, drag this over to your clip. And right here, right when it says scale, I'm gonna go to the beginning of this clip now. Make sure you're at the scale portion. Press shift, go over one right arrow key, five frames, depending on how long you want this transition to be. I'll go about five frames and I'll put an extra two in there. So I'll put about seven frames there. I'll highlight this, make a keyframe at this point, then go over another five frames or seven, whatever, depending on how fast you want this to be. And you wanna make this about 50, about half its size. Now, after that, you need to make another one. I uh, suggest to hold alt, click drag, and then go over to the other keyframe, slightly bit lower, I'll say about 45. After that, you wanna click and drag this over again towards the end, not exactly at the end, but towards the end, like around so. Go over to the keyframe again, and what you wanna do is wanna go up back now. So go up to 55 as an example, and then let's go over to the end here, click on this reset parameter, and it'll go right back to normal. And this is what it will look like. It's not super, super neat real quick because I'm going to adjust this, but you can make it look a lot cleaner if you want to. There you go. Perfect. So we adjust these two. You can move these around, play around with it until you get the perfect kind of scope transition that you are satisfied with. Now, after all this is done, there's a couple of things that you can do to spice it up a little bit. Now, what you want to do here is uncheck this use composite shutter angle. Go to the shutter angle and type in 360. Make it super, super smooth, like so. And you can see the quality of it improved drastically. Now, another thing you can do is also highlight all of these. Right click, go to auto bezier, and this makes it even smoother than it was before the actual animation. And as you can see, it looks a lot more professional. Pretty sure you would enjoy that. Now, another way you can also use this scope transition is if you go inside the video. So when the scope appears within the video, all you have to do is just this, pretty simple. That, J literally just that. Ripple delete, make sure everything is close. There you go, simple. You can customize however you want, do the little slow motion effect. Check the link down in the description below if you wanna check that out, if you wanna do that, and many more. Now, now that I showed you guys how to do that, something else that I wanna demonstrate with you guys in order to use my effect pack if you choose to get it which you should absolutely get it right now as it's on sale and it's not going to be that cheap it's going to go up so you better get it now to be honest with you when it comes to using the montage essential pack and you want to use the scope presets this is how you properly use it and i'm gonna show you right now so let's say you have this clip and you already froze the frame right here you have it set up ready for a nasty scope transition now what you want to do is use this scope mask auto mask the the scope just for you one click you don't have to do anything of that extra stuff that you did before now once you've done that you want to right click nest afterwards and just like i always showed you before then once you have the clip selected go over to the scope click and drag any of these and you can use it at your disposal see and it works perfectly no matter how long you make it it'll fit exactly how you need it to be and that's how you use the scope presets if you want these make sure you guys check them out in the link down in the description below it's real cheap right now if you don't want it it's perfectly fine and that's how you do it ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys enjoyed you guys are gonna see a lot more tutorials coming soon and yeah it's been a pleasure see you guys next time peace Bye.